Right, I'm back in there. Had a nice pizza. Four cheese it was, which was pretty damn good. Very tasty. Right, so we um, need to keep moving towards getting this tannery. And um, in order to do that, we just need to get our hands on more cotton, more hemp, stuff like that. So we're going to need prairie biomes, aren't we, um, in order to do that. We've got one rope already, just obviously. Takes a fair amount of hemp to make the rope that you need. But uh, in the meantime, we'll keep uh, doing this just to sort of build up towards um, what we actually need. Uh, prairie? Yeah, take one of those. Um, put them down there? Yeah, that'll do. So there's got to be lots of uh, stuff over there, right? In terms of hemp and whatever else we need. So just got to keep expanding out the old map. Also, I should probably go to the lake at some point and get more, uh, what should we call it, water. All right, here we are. Oh yes, just had my pizza. Four cheese, like I said. Very tasty. Absolutely lovely. We'll uh, mine some rocks too whilst we're at it. When I went shopping early in this week, I kind of wanted a barbecue pizza, but sadly there weren't any available, because um, normally I try to go <coughs> sort of shopping in the morning whenever I do my grocery shop. But unfortunately, uh, due to busyness of work and all that, I had to do it late in the afternoon this week. Because the thing is, at work recently I've been involved in uh, helping out with student verbal exams, just uh, assessing them, which um, was, you know, it's a fairly straightforward activity, it's just very time consuming, it runs right throughout the day, and of course I've been balancing that uh, with other commitments and whatever else have you, so uh, it's just a matter of... Um, working out, you know, what's the best time to go and actually do the things that I need to do. Is that hemp? That's hemp, thank God. Yes, we can get that. There's actually quite a bit of hemp around here, looking at it. Oh, if I can actually pick it up without releasing the F key too soon. Oh my God, yeah, look at all this. There's freaking tons of it. That's great. We'll get this uh, tannery in no time. Is that vanilla flower? It is. Oh, God, I keep letting go of F too soon. Don't know why I'm doing that. Oh yeah, we're sort of back in this direction, aren't we? Where the old, whatchamacallit was, the um, provisions of the cart that got knocked over. All right. Yes, I know you feel thirsty. Don't you worry. Right, so I've got one rope already. Um, yeah, and I should be able to craft more, right? So, two, three, and four. There we go. So that's the four that we need for the tannery. Uh, might as well pick up some more, though, whilst we're out here, just in case we ever need any more hemp. And cotton, actually, as well, because that'll be good just to have. All right. I imagine these plants do eventually replenish, I'm guessing. I don't know what the vanilla flowers do, though. Who knows? Maybe um, whatever it is they do has been implemented in the demo, I'm just not sure. What's that there? Wild mint? don't know what that does either. Maybe it's like a, I don't know, a food ingredient? Sounds like it probably would be, right? Also, I've, I've discovered a new tile, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, let me just look at this. Do we want something plains, or like an edge of a plains biome? Um, Let's have a look. Plains to prairie. Let me just get to this one here. Can we sort of like put that maybe in there perhaps? Yeah, then we've got like a big empty space in the middle of it. All right, good, jeez. Get a weird little lag all of a sudden. I guess uh, maybe, I don't know, because we've got such a big area now, maybe it's just uh, getting quite intense, who knows? Oh shit, I'm using the wrong tool entirely for that. Right, we need to go up to the lake. That's what we need to do. Go and get the stuff that we need. All right. And what we need is freaking water. All right. God, I picked up so much of that wild mint. I don't really need that much of it, do I? Um, oh, God. Right, I've only had a piece that I could put in over to the west over there, but that's fine. I mean, we're not far from the lake. It'll be okay. And we'll just mine some more rocks while we're at it to get more flint. Now, um... I think I looked off camera just before I tapped out to go and get my food um, at what basically is needed to upgrade the work table to the next level. It says it needs th uh, two tin ore, so I'm guessing that maybe comes from the big sort of boulders uh, at the edges of the lake, you know, the ones that have got like the little sort of metallic bits on them. So the thing is the pickaxe I think is too weak to harvest those, but the truth is um, that maybe in this demo we'll get something that will enable us to harvest them. I'm not sure. We're going to keep going with the demo, though, for the moment, just um, until... Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, what I actually want to do is just check that. We could put like a, just a normal plains biome in there, couldn't we? Um, yeah, so like that one. Stick that in there. 
Honk. Lovely. And now we can just cut straight across. God damn, what is that fucking delay for? It's so weird. Oh, it does that. Maybe, like I say, just because the world's getting very big now. And maybe that's just causing it to just I don't know, lag a little bit. Who knows? Alright, let's take my first up a little. I can just hold the one key down. <laughs> like this in the meantime. Just to replenish my hunger and my thirst. Uh, can I? Yeah, I can. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to... Um, crap. Can I not freaking interact with that? Oh, I have to get real close, that's why. I have to actually get into the water and actually use F before I forget. You see, this definitely can't be... Yeah, it's too weak, you see? So, in other words, we need something more powerful than our pickaxe in order to make that work. Um, yeah, so you definitely can't do anything with it. I reckon the little ripple pools probably sort of um, recharge after a bit, by the looks of it. Which just enables you, basically, to uh, get more water every so often. There we are. Right, take my thirst right up, so it takes a good long time now to actually... Ooh, don't want to spin the camera. Now there's some of these berries. Right, now that we've got the ropes, we can probably go back to the camp and sort out this tannery. Now, obviously, in the pine forest, there were more of the well more of those bloody zombies which was an issue so if we go back over there at some point we may have to deal with them which well should be too much of a problem but we'll see all right thank god that we're getting so much um stuff at the moment oh so see how the shadows do that thing where they uh <laughs> sort of go in a big circle like that uh, let's get another tile let's see discover new tile um we haven't used one of these water ones yet so let's um do this let's maybe put that there just a big watery one to create oh god please stop not having little leg spikes please game so strange ah the hut's right there oh, get out of it right keep moving keep them coming it definitely feels like yeah plants and things recharge oh yeah and look like the trees are all back as well so is that um, wrong tool entirely, what am I doing? Um, what was I going to say? I was saying that all like the trees around here, which I previously had chopped down, all seem to have regrown, which I'm guessing just essentially means um, that you can... Um, well, maybe it happens when you sort of load up a new... Well, load up the game again, possibly. Who knows? Right, so I've got the tannery. Where do we want to put this? Do we want to put it outside, maybe? Uh, it'll be in our inventory. What am I doing? Uh, where is it? Tannery. There it is. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, can I just craft fabric from here? Craft fabric? Um, how's that? Oh, can I not? Wait, do I have to put this thing down? How does this work? Is it just in my backpack? Consumables, tools and weapons, building... Oh, there it is. Right, let me just... Ooh. I can just sort of do it like... Oh, okay, never mind. I've put it there. Well, you know what? That's absolutely fine. We can do that. Right, craft um, one of those. Return to Greg Brown. So we, can, we could uh, fulfil that objective at some point. Right, we're going to have a look at the um, thingy in a little second as well. The cartography table. Because the probability is there will be more stuff more tiles we can unlock. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at all this. Like the three-quarter Plains to Pine Forest one, which just needs four rocks. That's an easy one. Let's get that. So, yeah, looking at like the screenshots for this game on the Steam Store page, it definitely seems like there's going to be some real interesting biomes, like deserts, um, canyons, and things like that. So this is probably just the full extent of the biomes we have at present in the demo. So, yeah. I think we'll keep going until we've basically unlocked as much as we can. Plains to Prairie and Plains to Pine Forest. So we'll put uh, some stuff down in due course. See, look like this rock here has reappeared. It must have done that when I reloaded the game, because it yeah, I definitely mined it before. Which is curious, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, that's good, though, that things do respawn. So if ever you find yourself sort of running out of resources, you can do a little handy exploit there, I guess. Who knows, maybe one day I'll watch his face. The spiffing Brit, or whatever he's called. Maybe if he hasn't done so already, there'll be a fucking video on his channel going... Above Snakes is a perfectly balanced game with no exploits whatsoever. I can't really do a spiffing Brit voice to save my life, in all honesty. <laughs> right, uh, should we try putting one of these down? Because I think that might um, do a good job at, I don't know, just sort of... Oh, you could put that, like, there, couldn't we? 
Yeah. Oh. Night time straight away there. Oh. I don't like it when it makes those noises. It's very unsettling, isn't it? Right. Hold to rest. Ugh, there we are. Aren't I looking better now? Slight delay in the uh, voice then. Right, we can go up to Greg Watts' face and actually sort out um, what he needs. In the meantime, just get some quick points as well. I've got so many damn plant fibres, it's it's just crazy, isn't it? Alright, chop, uh, chop. mine some more rocks whilst I'm at it. Yeah, we'll keep going and see if we can, like I say, just get everything that there is in this demo, or as much as we can anyway. So the thing is, since you can put lake tiles down, I am just wondering if at any point there is kind of like an option to, I don't know, get boats. See, all the crates have also respawned, which is good. Just means I um, get stuff delaying the sound then for some reason. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, this is just a demo. The game is still very much in development. Ah, new tile. Um, let's see. So we've done one of those. Um, which one of these have we not done? The three-quarter one. Can we sort of wedge this one in somewhere. Um, can't go in like that, can it? No, it can't. Uh, let's see. Does it go in like that? Sure, we'll just stick it there. Like so. Cool. Uh, right. Greg, Greg old boy, I've got the cloth that you need. So you should be able to hmm. fix up these tents. Uh, oh, there we go. New tile researchable. Oh, that's like a pine forest tent thing. My god, finally a night's sleep without rain or wind on my face. Thank you, young saviour. Did my brother Sam tell you how we got in this mess? Our mother Tara was with us during the skate, but she suddenly started acting all odd and such. And then she jumped at us, crushing the wagon. Um, God almighty, I can't believe what came over. I'm ashamed to tell you that we grabbed what we could and then ran away in fear. Hope someone has found her and that she's alright. We keep a lookout for her. Her name's Mrs. Tara Brown. That's a quest, I guess. That's got to be something to do with the... Um... Huh. Greg Brown's bed. Then is that Sam Brown's bed, I'm guessing? So what's this one over here? Can I interact? No, not with that, apparently. Okay, let me just check. Oh, standing on the cart. <laughs> Didn't mean to. It gives me more rocks, though, which is good. Okay, destroy all these things again, because every time I destroy them, they give me new resources. A common key! Ah, you see what that just gave me, then? That was interesting, wasn't it? Oh, God, my hunger is going right down. Also, I have that fucking... There we go, that friggin' Puckleberry whatever it was, meal that I made ages ago, which I never actually ate. So I might as well do that, eh? All right. So I think we want to, um, yeah, get an next tile down and investigate that new one. In fact, having said that, um, we might need to just go back to our camp momentarily. Okay. Combat roll to move along faster, as you do. There we are. It's right over here. Nice. Okay. Show me what you got, please. This one. Yeah, we can freaking unlock that. That's easy. The Lonely Cabin, that's what it's called. Nice. All right. So there's only two more of these tiles to look at. So assume if we go to this Lonely Cabin, maybe we'll uh, unlock some more stuff. So we'll see in due course. Um, what else in the meantime can we do? Let's just eat some more of these uh, berries. Also, I've got loads of mushrooms that I really should eat at some point. Search this tree. That'll just... Do something for me. There we go. Right, Lonely Cabin. Select this one. Can I just go in there? No, it can't. Uh, it probably needs to go... Yeah. Maybe like somewhere down here, perhaps, or maybe over here? Mm, that's probably where the zombies were kind of over there, weren't they? Uh, let's just put it sort of slammed in down there. Ooh, wow, that's a big cabin. Let's go and investigate that bad boy. I definitely want to see what's going on over there. Also got this empty section of the map that we need to look at. All right. Let me just mine this whilst I'm at it. Because you can never have enough rocks and flint, can you? Alright, there we go. Rocks, rocks, good. Rocks, rocks, rocks. Okay. Eat some more berries whilst I'm at it. And then gather some more. Just to um, replenish that which I've taken. God, just a big world hole there. Maybe I should fill that in with a plains biome if I get the chance. Alright, where's this cabin? It should just be over here, right? So I've got to watch out, get my axe out ready. Ooh. Oh god. Oh, oh it's a fucking rabbit. Hello. Huh. Oh god, so that, that thing's going to move around very, very fast. Oh god, what's your deal? You fucking dog? Oh god, no, don't. Don't attack the dog. Otherwise that'll be bad. Can I interact with the dog? Huh. Bass or bass. Woof woof. Pet the dog. 
gives belly rubs. Seems to like it. Woof. <laughs> it's almost like some strange, weird pet play RP. <laughs> Look at collar. Let's see, what does the name play on your collar say? Bass or bass. I don't know. No, it won't be bass, will it? Well, thought it'll be bass. Because, of course, this is Wild West. They didn't have bass back then, as in the instrument. Okay. Well, good to meet you, dog. See you later, friend. Yeah, you lovely guy. Oh. Well, good to know I can pick up the... Oh, my God. It's like a whole log stockpile. How many can I get? Three? Three of them. Nice. It's pretty good, isn't it? Ah, uh, now we can sort of look inside this uh, abandoned cabin. Okay. Anything here with a chair? No. Let's just twizzle the camera around. Oh, God. Stark. Okay. What's your deal, Stark? Are you friendly? Rocks. A new tile is ready to be discovered. Um, do you want to put down another lake thing? Uh, I don't know, actually. Uh, maybe maybe just put down a normal plains thing, actually, come to think of it. So let's get that one, just chunk it in. Oh, no, we can't chunk it in there. What am I doing? Right, hold on. We need uh, probably this one, I think. Can we... No, not mm, bollocks. Okay, I have sort of placed things down there in a bit of a weird way, haven't I? Um, maybe what we need is this one. Maybe that one will go in there. We go. That'll go in there. Bonk. There we go. Lovely. All right, I'm just going to investigate your place first, Stark. Sorry, I'm just raiding all your stuff. Oh, I've got a hide. Okay. It's this box over here. Uh, another common key. Stark, what's, hmm. who are you? Hello there, very pleased to meet you. I'm Stark and this is my simple home that you just raided and stole all my stuff from. <laughs> the woods were such a nice, safe place before the lost souls began roaming around here. Such a shame. Luckily for me, I don't live in Corpse Creek. Ask why I lives alone. Don't you feel lonely? Lonely? Not at all. And I don't live alone by any means. Bass is... Uh, not Bass. Bass is my best friend and a good boy. Ask about the dog. Stark, is that dog outside your dog? Well, obviously. He just gave you the name. <laughs> I see you've met Bass already. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's my loyal companion best friend. <laughs> He's harmless, by the way, and do everything for some belly rubs. Continues laughing. Awkwardly. Uh, why he seems worried about the people? He seems to be worried about the people that used to live in Corpse Creek. How come in particular? Oh, do I? Well, uh, apparently. These woods were such a nice safe place before the Lost Souls began. That was pretty much the same as what you said before, isn't it? heard dreadful things about that night. Say, could you do me a favour? I'll explain a little better. It, why, it would make me feel better. All right, fine. What favour do you want? Of course. What can I do? I'll tell you, well, I'm planning to make something for that I would require a skull of a big animal. Oh, God. All right. Find a skull of a sizable dead animal that school, uh, Stark can make use of. Okay. Add a glade. Ah. So a new tile, basically, is what we need. Okay. Sure. We can do that. Twizzle the camera background in the meantime. Okay. Well, that's fantastic. So we've got another thing unlocked, which is great. So we are steadily moving forward with what we actually need. Let's just get some quick points, like so, and then search from the tree, get more stuff. You see, then we can probably just chunk this thing down more or less straight away. Unless, of course, it does the old, um, well, unless it's going to go to night time, which I'm kind of hoping it won't. Oh, nearly there. Come on, one more thing. Boom. Right. Oh, we need to research it, actually, don't we? What am I thinking? Got to go back to back to the base first. Keep rolling. We'll roll all the way home. Like Sonic the Bloomin' Hedgehog. <laughs> Except I'm uh, out in the Old West. Oh, I've sort of gone too far over here. What am I doing? Here we go. Right, cartography bench. Show me what you got. So what is this thing that we need? What do we need? Is it just rocks? We can easily do that. That is fantastic. And there's only one more after this, which is great. Uh, that's a glade. Right. So, where does this one need to go? <laughs> Could we literally just put it right next door to where he is? <laughs> or put it, like, down here? Um, or there? Put it there. Chunk. Wow. Stark, you could have just gone straight out of your own front door, you lazy sod. And it would have been right there. Let me get some rocks while I'm at it. We're doing all these quests, ladies and gentlemen. It's fantastic. You see, I'm really enjoying this. I'm just, you know, like I say, I'm going to play through the whole thing in one go, and I'm just going to split this into multiple episodes. So I think that's probably for the best, right? Makes things nice and easy. Uh, how are we doing food-wise? can probably eat some berries. Here we go. Uh, dead animal skull. Skull of an animal should return this to Stark, and he's right up here somewhere. Uh, over here, isn't he? 
There you are, Stark. Oh, God. Oh, that is night. That's not a good time to be out now, is it? Ooh, there's zombies up there, yeah. So maybe you see the weird, like, red trails. You see where I'm mousing around here? It's basically a zombo. Stark? Hmm. At least you're still friggin' uh, awake. Oh, did you just give me a lumberjack's axe? I've created something very special out of that animal skull. But see here, it's private, and I don't want just anyone to know what it is. I don't know, maybe later I'll show you, if I know I can trust you. You know, maybe you could earn that trust. I put what I've made into this parcel. It needs to be delivered to Corpse Creek. That's going to be bad, I'm uh, sure. I can deliver the parcel to a trading post. It will get picked up by the mailman and delivered. All right, well, that's going to give me the final biome thing, right? Special gift, find a trading post and deliver the parcel. Sure, new researchable. There you go. Check out the cartography table. We can do that. Can I sleep in Stark's bed? No, I can't. Oh, that's unfortunate. Kind of wanted to see if I could do that. Just maybe then I could sleep off the night and I would be fine. God, this is a bad time to really be out here. Oh, I don't want to do that. I wanted to press 1, not Q. Just eat some more berries. There we go. Also, I need to go and get more water at some point, won't I? Um, where's my motherfucking thing? Oh, he's over there. It's right there. Just need to go over this way a little bit, that's all. Keep rolling, rolling. Oh, God. There was like a zombie crawling around over there. That was really weird. I saw that motherfucker. All right. Rest. So do zombies sort of despawn if you rest? It'd be interesting if they do, right? Okay, final one. Um, just need flint for the trading post. Then we'll uh, chunk it down somewhere. Okay, got that. All right. So I'm kind of curious what will happen once we've chunked this thing down and we've done all the quests. Will it just let us keep going indefinitely with what limited mechanics the demo actually has? Or will we actually potentially be able to, uh, I don't know, or will it just essentially like end the demo and say, you've done everything, that's all there is to see, Wish list on Steam for the full version and all that. I have a feeling it'll probably be, uh, well it might be the latter, I don't know. Or it might just give me a message and then allow you to sort of go on indefinitely if you want. Right, search trees. See what else they got. Uh, da -da -da, we're nearly there for friggin' what we need in order to be able to chunk down this last thing. Uh, give me another huckleberry. And uh, one more just to trigger the tile. Boo! Right. Trading post. It looks like it's a prairie one, this one. Uh, can't put it in there. But we can put it in over there. Which is fantastic. Uh, oh, it's got like a telegraph line on it. That looks interesting, doesn't it? Uh, let's put it around that way. Ah, look at that. Yeah, it has got like a telegraph line. Good Jesus Christ. That freaking weird little lag then. It just does that. All right. Whilst we're running, let's uh, eat up. It'll also give me some of my thirst whilst I just head over to the lake to replenish my water skin. God, berries do not replenish much, but in a pinch they're fine, aren't they? In all honesty. Okay, so we've got a pretty decently sized map by the end of this playthrough, as we cut well, as we come towards what I'm assuming will be the end of the playthrough. So I assume that time transition then is, is saying it's now midday, right? Feels like that would be the case. Uh, let's see, can I uh, refill now? I can. So fortunately, you can refill from these things, which is great, um, because I was initially always worried that it wouldn't let me, but that's fine. Slight delay in the water sound effects as I pick it up, but that's fine. Boom. Water. Unless it's actually the sound effect when the icon at the top right disappears. That might be it, actually. No, no, maybe not. Right, drink some water. There we go. Right, we should be pretty close, right? Well, not close, but not far off either. We've got plenty of time, so gather a few more berries whilst we're out here. And that'll be good. Kind of curious as in what will actually happen after this, but that's the thing. Go over here. So once we deliver this parcel, do we then have to go back to Stark and maybe he'll be like, oh, thanks very much for doing that. I guess I can trust you for whatever. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's like a stagecoach. Hello, hello. God, yeah, I love that Western theme. It's great, isn't it? So what's interesting is, because look at like, the telegraph lines there. So having like put this here, does that mean that the next tile I would have to place down at this edge would have to have telegraph lines of its own, potentially? Or would it not need that? I don't know. Feathers. I'm just going to destroy all the crates with everything in them. I'm getting 
I've got about three of these common keys now. Well, can beans. Okay. A log. Rocks. <laughs> what a freaking mess I'm making out here. Can I do anything with the stagecoach? Oh, also, I should uh, do this, shouldn't I, really? Uh, should we just get a new prairie tile? Yeah, just whack it in there. There we go. Just to use that up. Yeah, I can't seem to do anything with the old stagecoach, but it's fine. Uh, nah, that's, that's okay then. Uh, right, let's go actually inside here. Is there someone in? Oh, play Stark's Parcel. Okay. But I can destroy these as well to get stuff out of them. There we go. Put the parcel there. Yeah, we have to return it. Uh, we have to return to Stark, rather. Put Stark's parcel here so it gets picked up and transported to Corpse Creek. Let's see what the recipient address of the parcel reads. Corpse Creek Forge. Interesting. Hmm. Question is, do we trust old Starkey? First name, Ned. <laughs> yeah, that's a terrible joke. It's Game of Thrones, ladies and gents. A series which I've never actually watched before. I hear so many people rant, well not rant, but so many people rave about it with excitement. And there's old Red who just doesn't know a damn thing about it other than a few character names and whatever else. Though I do know that apparently the actor who played, what's his face, um, Joffrey, is, he called, is the character called Joffrey? I think he was. Apparently gets a lot of hate in real life from people who can't distinguish fiction from reality. Hmm. Ah, there we go. But, uh, yeah, it's always funny, that, isn't it? How some people get so invested in a the show, they see the fucking actor out and about. It's like they can't, sort of, like I say, just distinguish the fact that that actor is not, you know... They're not, like, a friggin' actual crazy villainous person. They're just, you know, an actor doing whatever the heck it is that they want to do. Right, we need a different tile, I think, for that one. What about Plains to Pine Forest? Will that work there? Red, red, red. But it will work there, so let's stick it in like that. It just um, creates a new path for me, that's all. So let's get back to Stark before the day um, The day stops. Yeah, he's close. Oh. There's bees around somewhere, but I don't know where they are. Where are you, Stark? Oh, you just won over. Okay, that's fine. Keep it going. Keep it going. Get me a watching out there, Stark. This special thing that you apparently want to give me. Hello? Hello, 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 Stark, there you are. Did you bring the parcel to the training post? Remember, I'll find out eventually whether you did or not. Well, anyway, thanks for your help. Ah, it's the end of the current content. Thanks for playing, but don't worry, we update the game regularly. Make sure not to miss any updates and be part of our community, and don't forget to wishlist. You can, of course, keep playing and expand your world and shelter. Just be aware that there'll be no new quests at the moment. Well, there you go, folks. So we have technically reached the end of the demo there. So... If you want, you know, if, if, if you wanted to, if you were playing this, you could just keep going and uh, keep expanding your world indefinitely. Though so, I'm not going to do that because I think that's enough of a showcase. So that was uh, the demo of uh, uh, Above Snakes. I think they said Ask Snakes for some reason. Above Snakes, a sort of Western themed survival kind of game. That was really good. I think it's really pretty. It looks really good. It looks really promising. And uh, you know what? I'm going to go and wishlist this, because I would be interested in staying up to date with whenever it comes out. I believe it's currently scheduled for release in 2023, so it's not going to be out for a while, ladies and gentlemen. But you know what? If you're interested, if you liked the look of things from this, then, you know, by all means, go and wishlist it too. Show the devs a bit of support. More than that, I'm going to wrap up here. So, Facebook and Twitter links down below, along with the link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. If you enjoyed, a like is always appreciated. More than that, this is General Red signing off. Goodbye, everybody. Okay, that's interesting. So we're looking at uh, games produced by a uh, person that Davy Reed knew. So it's pronounced Reed. No, I think that was pronounced it wrong before. Oh. Go this game is called Escape Thrones, and it's one of the more generic games in the see. Okay. Escape from Whisper. No, it's not like I can go there. Um, this way? Yeah, it's down here. So we're playing a bit of an FPS here, I see. Let's follow the path then. Oh.